Okay, one of the first things I'm going to show you is my soldering station. Um, it, like I said, it's a weller. All my soldering stuff's weller. And I think I ordered this for about 40 bucks on Amazon. I didn't pay a whole lot for it, but I've got a lot of use out of it. You can tell I've kind of had a couple of boo-boos. Dribbled a little solder on it when I shouldn't have. But I kind of tend to have a little too much fun when I'm doing stuff like this. And right now I've got this heating up. I've got the, like I said, this is the one I use for desoldering the most. And it works really well. One of the tricks to keep them one in good shape, always keep it clean. Always keep flux on it. That's a major, major help. And you, I've got it under my hood on my stove right now so I don't end up smoking up the house. And something else that's very important, whenever you're done working with a soldering iron, Put the camera down for a second where you can see this. One of the most important things I think, I'd say many people would agree, is to always coat it back down with a little bit of solder. It doesn't have to be a whole lot, doesn't have to be perfect for this. It just keeps corrosion from building up on your soldering iron. Since there's flux on there, it doesn't want to stick all that super well. And any uh, excess, if there's a lot of excess, what I like to do, take a little bit of this braided wire or solder wick if you have any and just move it around it. And this will keep it from building up corrosion and running your soldering tip.